Hey guys, back in the kitchen with Tech Guru for you. Uh, I have here something that is really useful and will actually help keep your items from freezer burning. It's a food saver uh, made by, I think the company is Food Saver. It's model V3240, V3240. I think it's only available in white. I picked this up a couple of months ago. I had one years ago that was great and finally uh, just went belly up on me. So I decided to go for this one. I got good reviews. Uh, it has a built-in uh, storage for uh, for a roll of bags, and it has this lift-up mechanism where you can make a bag. And there's a little cutter that goes across. The old one I had, everything was manual. This was separate. It was a whole mess. This is much better. But that was years ago. So to make a bag, you just basically pull it out to the desired length. And there's little markers here so you can mark the white line on each side and try to keep it even. Just hold it down, slide it across and back, and presto, you got yourself a bag. Um, you'll notice that it's open on both sides, so you have to seal one side of it to close it, and then put whatever you want in after it's closed, and then put it in here for the vacuum part. It'll suck the vacuum out and then seal it, and you'll have a completely encased bag. Uh, one side of the bags is uh, has the texture pattern, the other side is smooth. There's areas on the bag where you can write what's in it, a date, and so on. Um, these bags are very good, they last a while, but there are name brand and aftermarket bags available on Amazon. Honestly, I've never used the aftermarket bags. Some of them got pretty good reviews and they're considerably cheaper, so you might want to try that. Uh, I think I'll try one next time just to see in comparison if it's if I really need to buy the food saver ones but uh, I'm not going to sacrifice anything uh, you know as far as the food holding or the the seal breaking or anything like that just to buy a cheaper bag if they work the same I'm all for saving the money but if they do not then it's not a bargain in my opinion so anyway these come with accessories uh, sorry they don't come they come with an accessory tube correction this tube it's basically just a clear tube, plugs into the accessory port on the bottom, you just twist it in, and they sell these different types of shapes of canisters with a special top on it that seals the air in. There's a rubber seal, so for your soups and sauces and you know liquidy items, or, or not, they make them for spaghetti and different you know long configurations. There's a whole bunch of different containers, but what you basically do is you plug the other end of the accessory tube into it and instead of sealing a bag when you go to seal it it's going to actually pull the air out of the canister makes the sound the light goes on that it's vacuuming and then sealing this doesn't seal anything it just does the uh, the actual vacuuming of the air and then stops so the seal is made and then it'll stop, seal will light, it's not actually sealing anything, and then you'll just pull the tube off when it's done, and your items will be basically void of any air in there, which is what makes them go bad, and then you take it off, and there you have it. Basically, it's a sealed item, and honestly, they keep so long, I just put these, like my wife makes awesome, I'll put, just throw this in the refrigerator. And because the air is sucked out, it stays for a long time. I take it out, I can use some sauce if it's not, you know, if I don't have to use all of it, I'll put the rest in, reseal it, put it back in the fridge. So these things work, these things work great for soups, sauces, and things like that. So you might want to pick something like that up, that might be helpful for you. Um, they're also available on Amazon. There's, ver there's a lot of different, for marinades also, uh, the, some of the shallower dishes, you put your marinade in there, suck the air out, it really injects the flavor into whatever you're marinating, so uh, definitely useful. So I'm going to just demonstrate how to make a bag real quick. <clears throat> it's real simple. I'm going to go through the whole process from cutting to actually putting something in the bag and sealing it. So I'm going to pull the bag out to whatever desired length I want. Let's say, uh, I don't know, let's say about this long and then I cut my bag. Take my bag and it's curved. I put the curved side turning into 
the sealer, I lift the little lever up, and there's two channels in here. There's one that's a, a, like a, a trough that's in here, a plastic gray trough, and then there's this uh, black, I don't know if you can see it, there's this black uh, heated ribbon that goes across here. That's what actually heats up and seals. When you, when you push it over into the trough, which you have to do, that actually is what pulls the air out. So right now I just want to close the end of this bag. So I'm just going to put it in, not going not to make it go all the way into the trough, just over that black strip. And then I'm just going to gently push this down. And instead of doing vacuum and seal, I'm just going to say seal because I just want to close the bag. So you press seal. This thing will slowly lower down. Just doing now. It'll be like three or four seconds, whatever. It puts heat through that black area, seals the bag. And then after it seals the bag, it'll start pulling up, which it's doing now. And then you can pull the bag out, and it's actually sealed. I don't know if you can see that line across the top, but it actually is sealed up. So now you made yourself your pouch. Now you put whatever you want in here. Now you're going to go back, and you're going to vacuum and seal, because you want to pull out the air and then seal it. So now I'm pushing it all the way in, into that gray trough, curve down. Again, I'm not fighting the curve. I'm going with it. I'm going to push it in and down. It just has to go down in there. You don't have to push a lot. And then once you do that, you hit vacuum and seal. It sucks everything out and then seals it at the end and then you're done. I'm going to, I'm going to take a short break, come back and seal uh, maybe one or two lobster tails and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay guys, here we go. Here's my pre-made bag. I'm just going to throw a couple of uh, lobster tails in here real quick. Head first, guys. One. Get in there. Okay, so I got my two tails in here. You always want to leave a little area on the top, uh, free, with nothing in it. Because remember, you got to slide it into that trough area. So you're going to lift this up. You lift this up. Throw it in. You want to make sure that it's into the trough so it can get all the air out and obviously you don't want anything underneath this to prevent it from sealing down so this is probably fine uh, probably the perfect amount of space between the end of the tail and that so now it's simply just pressing vacuum and seal this should come down slowly and it will start sucking the air out you can see the air coming out of it it's squishing down on it sucking all the air, look it's formed right to it, right to the lobster tail, and now it's sealing, and it's going to seal the back end of the bag. Now it's finished sealing, it raises up, it's all done pretty much automatically, and there you have it. Your lobster tails are sealed, all the air as you can see is pulled out, now it's ready for freezing, and right in the freezer it goes. So that's one way. Also, and that's with the bag that I made right from the roll, as you saw, uh, they also sell pre-made bags in different sizes. And these are the same bags, it's just that they're already closed on three sides, and then the top side is open, so you can put whatever you want in there. So, they're convenient, but you actually get a better value over the ones you have to make yourself, but it is a little more work because you actually have to make the bag. So that, I'll leave that up to you to decide. But I like the ones that you can make yourself because you can form fit them to whatever you need. As you see here, I have some shrimp in a bag that's probably bigger than I really need. Uh, so that's going to be wasted. Yes, I could actually cut it off. But then you end up with a bag that's too small really to use for anything. So I just paid for a bag that I really don't need. So that's why I like to make the bags myself. Uh, but once again, I'm going to leave it like that since that was a pre-made bag and fold it into the trough area if it doesn't go if it doesn't seal the odds are you did not have part of it in the trough and that's the reason why so same deal here you just press vacuum and seal you'll hear the motor go the light is on it closes down the air starts coming out you should actually see the air being sucked out. You can probably hear it too. Go 
those aren't the shrimp screaming, they're already gone. Uh, but, as you can see, the air is gone too, which is a good thing. And that's what caused everything to go bad, right? keeping that air in there. So by sucking the air out, you're really going to dramatically enhance how long you can keep things, uh, eliminate freezer burn, and these shrimps are ready for the freezer. So, I hope that gave you a good idea on how to Here we have a couple of New York strip steaks headed for the food sealer and the freezer. Just wanted to give you a, a quick shot of it actually in progress. These are pretty meaty. It's like an inch and a half thick roughly. So I'm going to just toss them in here. Toss them in the bag. Scoot this bloody plate over to the side. Lift up my food sealer. Make sure you clean everything good when you're done. The tray, the food sealer comes out for cleaning, which is a good thing. You see I'm wearing gloves. And vacuum and seal. A couple of seconds, it starts pulling the air right out of the bag. You can see it's shrinking down over the meat, pulling all the air out. Sucking it down, you can see the juices. It's pretty powerful, it sucks all the air out of here. And then seals. That's it. You want to make sure you have a little room towards the end, especially if it's something that's very juicy, because it's so powerful it could start sucking the juices up into it. So that's why I leave you know, plenty of extra room here. You can see the juice is starting to pull out a little bit over here, but it never makes it out anywhere near the bag because I give extra room. But that's it. You got two steaks sealed up and keep it up for up to a year. I would say maybe even more. No way in hell that's going to last a year in my freezer. That will be done next week. Or well, maybe today, they're looking pretty good. Anyway, uh, with help my two little assistants here, a little demonstration on how quick and easy it actually can be. It's definitely the way to go. I recommend it entirely. You'll thank yourself uh, by trying it. And don't forget to like and subscribe.